And it's also, I guess, in some, in some people's minds, probably a small issue when actually it's actually a much bigger issue. And the reason for that is as an executive director of a nonprofit, um, in many instances, the constituent base is of color, but the organization does not represent the, that constituent base. Um, other instances are that um, diversity does bring about um, better choices, better programming, better leadership, um, and ways to address problems in our society that are full scale. So this not just catered to uh, one culture's way of thinking on an issue and bringing in diversity that, that also allows opportunities for others to think about um, a problem in a different way. And I'll use technology as an example of this where we had a couple of instances. For example, HP uh, did the face recognition but had a problem recognizing dark faces. That's an issue of not having the right people at the leadership level. Um, uh, Alia talked about, uh, not today, but in instances where she was trying to build a specific um, a social platform, and one of the missing components was the double last name that most Latina and Latino com communities have. So it's really a, a basic uh, add on a requirement that makes that um, option even available. Uh, but if you're someone who comes from a single last name um, uh, culture, you would never think about that. And it's, it's so simple, it's not even a, a hard fix, it's just no one thought about it. Um, so these are just minor examples I'm giving. Um, they're all technologically based, but these are the types of things that organizationally you'll end up with a, a lot of minor issues that will eventually turn into big issues. The other problem is that uh, in essence you end up with high turnover rate. Um, you're um, it, usually sitting and scratching your head about why uh, communities of color, people of color, women of color do not stay at your organization for long terms, why you don't seem to have uh, people of color in leadership positions at your organization. Um, a lot of it had to do with the conversations we had today about the microaggressions where people don't actually want to see a person of color or uh, a woman who's leading uh, on a particular project, an organization. Um, and when you add the technology component to it, it gets even more critical and more challenging because most people are not used to seeing a woman of color who's a tech expert, which is my life. I spent, I've spent the last 20 years dealing with that challenge and having people do some really interesting things and have interesting reactions to the concept that you know what, mm, I know other men of color, I know Asian people of color, but yeah, that black woman of color thing in tech, uh, I don't think I can name one. And that becomes sort of um, this um, ongoing challenge when someone does find that person, they don't know what to do with handling them with their organization and the biases that come with that person showing up.